Hi folks, this is Rogue Strix X570 eGaming Wi-Fi 2 motherboard and its connections. But you can use this uh, for any other motherboard right now. So we have Wi-Fi kit over there. Itself. You shouldn't be touching with your hand behind the board, behind the circuitry. There's a reason I'm wearing a strap connected to the case, which is plugged into the wall and not switched on. Carefully place right after you take it off from the anti-static do not place it on the anti-static cover because outside it's conductive and inside it's not there's no harm in keeping the board on the on the cardboard box that you get some accessories the manual this is this useful particularly in connecting your friend panel connection there are a couple of diagrams which might help not in this manual but any manual so I would suggest you go through that tags and this one is for the NVMe connection uh, NVMe screw which has a lock on it so here is the board we have it's an ATX board I could not find a micro ATX mini ITX and ATX are there so it has got three slots for PCIe and four slots for RAM. These screws fasten on the stud screws, I believe, which raised the motherboard. These screws are going onto the studs. There's a CPU connection. I had to connect three four pins on this board. Sometimes you may have to connect only two pins. In this case, I had to connect three of them. <coughs> That's the motherboard main connection, 24 pins. It's got notch there. Uh, you have to align just as shown there and then press into place. Locks. Again, it aligns so that the two pin doesn't come out accidentally. As you can see, it's locked. The two pin, it's locked together with the six pin. USB to two connections, nine pins each. Then the big one is the USB three. 19 pins you can't connect the other way around 
because it's cheat. Be careful not to bend the pins. Be extremely careful and patient.